Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Sarah Lohan and I make art videos. Today I will be unboxing this package. So yeah, let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Before jumping into the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. So whenever I upload a video, you get notified and also like my video. Thanks. Wow, look at this a cute uh, Himi set of gouache by Mia. It's 18 colors. It's pretty heavy and bigger than I thought it would be, but I really like the box. So damn cute. Mia is a Chinese based company who make art supplies and that's all I know. I didn't buy this set of gouache from their website. I bought it from Amazon for $18. And the bottom of the box reminds me of ice cube tray. What you guys think? Mm? This gouache set comes in two colors on Amazon, pink and mint green. But on their Mia website, they have a couple of colors to choose from. And if you want to check out their website, you can get the link in my description down below. The second thing I got is this uh, plastic palette to mix my colors and I like it very lightweight and have pretty good size wells for mixing. Let's open this cute set of gouache. It also reminds me of a lunch box the way it opens. And here you go. So pretty. Look at the packaging. It's so awesome. Underneath uh, it has this cute pink palette for mixing the paint and I don't know what I feel about the pink palette because um, I always use a white surface to mix my colors on But we will see all the colors pack individually and each colors comes in this um, Jelly cup type of container So yeah, let's open all the container shall we? Wow Look at the paint so creamy i'm just loving the unique jelly cup design but at the same time i'm a bit hesitant and i don't know what i feel about the jelly cup design right now because when you take off the lids it's off forever and you can't put it back on no way guys no way and i have no idea how long these paints will stay moist and creamy over time but as we all know gouache can be easily reactivated with water so i think it won't be a problem and also the box looks high quality to me so i think once it closed it will be airtight so we don't need to worry about and that's how i arranged all my paint containers and that the order they're gonna go in the ice cube tray ice cube tray or a box you guys tell me just for a second, admire the beauty of these paint. So cute, isn't it? Anyway, let's get to swatching. I added these black lines so we can get an idea of how opaque and semi-opaque the colors are. I just want to leave a disclaimer here. I bought everything comes in this package with my own money. So this video is not sponsored by me or anything. When I saw this gouache set, it looked so cute to me, so I bought it and thought why not share with you all so what is gouache whenever i think of trying new medium i always ask what is this medium for how to use it what brand to buy and what type of paper and surface you need to paint on then the search comes handy and i spent a lot of time searching for all of my questions and kept going until some of questions are answered because the rest I will find myself along the way. Gouache paint is an opaque water-based medium that is highly versatile and can produce bright luminous paintings. Gouache paint is essentially a heavy watercolor paint that dries much more opaquely than watercolors. It can be watered down to create soft transparent layers and you can leave it light to dark or dark to light, unlike watercolor. Gouache once dries, you can easily reactivate with water. Uh, I already draw this baby cow and yeah, let's use this Hemi set and see how this will work on a simple project. Guys, this is my first time trying out gouache. I never used gouache before so I might not be able to compare this set with any professional gouache. So uh, I will tell you everything about this set and what I feel about it, if I like it or not. 
uh, with gouache you pretty much need the same you use with watercolors you need two cups of water one for clean water and one for dirty water you can use any synthetic watercolor brushes and use acid free watercolor paper because it's a water based medium and if you're already using watercolor you don't have to buy anything the only thing you need is gouache that's it Actually, when I was looking to buy gouache, uh, I almost bought Arteza gouache in tubes. But all of a sudden, I found this Himi set and I just loved it. And I did a little bit more research and it seems good student gouache to me, so I bought it. So far, so good. I'm happy with them. Yeah. This set comes with a total of 18 colors of 30 milliliter paint in each jelly cup so 18 colors for only $18 very affordable and cheap and at the same time the quality of these paints looks great to me very good student grade paint very creamy vibrant and color selection are really good I don't have any pigment information and light fastness info on these paints because I couldn't find it anywhere so you may not feel comfortable to make artwork that you want to sell uh, but I still believe these paints can be really good for practice and if you are just starting out with gouache this set will be great because I believe when you are just starting out with any new art supply you don't have to buy expensive professional art supply right away so I think it's a really good place to start with it if you happen to like it you can always buy a professional gouache I would buy it if I think this is the right medium for me so what's my final thoughts are i really like it just the overall design of this squash make me so happy to just look at it uh, this set is so beautiful and i'm so happy to have this set in my art collection and the quality wise i would say after swatching and making this art piece with these paints i'm impressed the colors are vibrant creamy and opaque and if you add the right amount of water and mix it well on the palette you can apply smoothly on the paper and once dries looks great the only color i didn't like it it was a blue background color i painted in this painting because the first layer was a bit patchy and that's why i painted another layer maybe i didn't mix it well or added too much water i don't know what happened but i'm looking forward to making more painting uh, with this set so i will share more thoughts on them along the way so let me know what you guys think you like it or not and if you find this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more art videos thanks for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye